horrendous, terrible weather, worst, I picked the worst day I possibly could to do this. What's up everyone? Uh, I'm back in this beautiful, amazing country, Sweden of mine, and I've been here for almost a week now. Uh, the weather was amazing when I got here, we had like 10 to 15 degrees of sunshine, and then yesterday it just turned to shit again. Typical sp uh, Swedish spring weather. Uh, so today's video, I'm gonna go out and try to sort my suspension out, because I struggled with it over these last couple of weeks in New Zealand and Australia. Uh, I got this... A new fork to test out. Doesn't say there, but it's the 2020. It's a new fork. Um, in here is the old one that I used to have, the one that I had in New Zealand, Australia. Uh, and that one worked really good, but this one I made like I tried it once and it felt even better. So I'm gonna try and get the fork and mainly the rear shock, uh, the air shock dial, because that's what I struggle with. Uh, so for the race run there in Tasmania, I decided to switch to the coil in the rear and it felt better straight away. So I'm gonna try and see if I can get Yeah, the new the new rear shock dialed Because uh, um, I think it's I think it's good if you get it dialed. So I'm gonna head to guess what? Flotsbro first time of the year in Flotsbro. I have no idea if it's even rideable over there But I've seen the guys been there like digging and maintaining the trail. So I'm guessing some Some which should be dialed um, so yeah, let's head straight over, and um, yeah, I'm excited to go back to Flotsbro, it's been a while. First time back in Flotsbro this year, and um, they feel like shit loads of snow like in the in the slopes. Uh, fortunately for me I don't ride over there. But I honestly will have to see how long I can sustain this because it's like zero degrees right now. It's good I brought an extra jacket, otherwise I wouldn't have made it. I cycle up, bring all my shit and do everything up there in the forest where hopefully the wind doesn't get through. So yeah. That's, that's the fork done. I'm gonna have to put it in my phone. Oh, top. Top. 110. Bottom. 230. So I'm just gonna try to ride it a few times see how it feels like the initial fork on this section here. Actually felt pretty good straight away. I don't know if you can see it, but it's snowing here now. Just the initial thought of running this section is that the rebound got too much rebound on, which would make sense because it's just like all the adjustments on the forks in the middle now. So I would have to take uh, some rebound off. But I'm gonna cruise down. So I made it to this alternative spot, uh, which is the same place I shot like. The first video I shot this year, I'll just put it up here um, before I went to Australia, New Zealand. And I'm gonna ride this rock garden that wasn't rideable back then uh, to see how the bike feels. See if I can find a find that. All the sections right here. You pop off this edge here, land down there, and then go into that. No, 
as you can see from here actually. Well, there's a jump up there, down there. And just ride through this rock garden here. Come from here, over this crest, turn left, and just haul it down this rock garden. It's not super rough, but I guess it could be made to set this, set this bike up. So I'll give it a few tries. Actually, it feels really off. I think it could be that I just had a big wheel in the rear again. I'm gonna try to put some less. I'm gonna try to put some more air in the lap, like in the upper, in the upper chamber of the fork, see if that solves it. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to take air out of the rear shock. Do that. So I had to. I had 110 up front in the upper, cha upper chamber. So I'm gonna go 120. Feels great, feels way better straight ahead. <clears throat> so I think the balance like is pretty much there. So I'm gonna try to like set up the rebound and all that type stuff. I took two clicks off the, the rebound in the front, feels better straight away, so I'm gonna try a few more. And uh, yeah, just ride and ride and ride and see how it's gonna evolve basically. starting to feel like I found right. The bike feels amazing right now. Uh, so what I did basically, I put 10 more P-size in the upper chamber on the Albert fork and I, I added one more volume spacer um, in the rear. Just one and, and then I could drop down some pressure in the rear and make the bike feel amazing. So I'm just gonna go up now and do like a full run and see how it feels all the way down but I'm starting to feel really happy with it. Alright guys, so I'm finished with the testing. I'm really happy with how everything turned out. And I got like, so I got basically 31% sag in the rear, uh, around 10 in the front, and the ride height and the balance of the bike feels really good. Uh, you always have to like fine tune and fine tweak everything, uh, but mainly what I wanted to do with this session was to set the the balance of the bike properly. Uh, so if you want to do this yourself, I would recommend just adjusting your sag from the rear first. Put all the knobs like high speed, compression, low speed compression, rebound and everything in the middle. And then try to work your way either in or out. I would recommend going out because I feel that, especially on the rebound, you don't need uh, a lot of rebound. Bikes can go quicker if you have less rebound. Uh, yeah, I'm going to put like in the description all my clicks and everything so you can, you can check that out and you could copy it. Uh, I'm around 83 kilos, so that's good to know with your ride height as well. And now it's only one thing left to do, which is the ultimate uh, test to see if you have your suspension set up good or not.
All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.